um, you've got a killer forward and you know that you've got Mirko Prouser, you want him to be taking shots from top circle. You've got Kempermon, you want him to be taking shots from top circle. These guys, you really want to create an opportunity for them to get the ball in that space. So if you understand that you want you uh, want to use that space, the next question is, yeah, who? So you've got Kemperman, um, Prouser, whoever that player is in your team. If you know that, if you know what space you want to use and you know who, it's then why. So yes, you might get him in this space, but you want him to be able to take a shot. Potentially, this is just an example. You might want him to take a shot. If you want him to take a shot, he's going to need space. So the next part is, what's the role of the other players in this? So if you've got, for example, um, let's put him on the other side because he'll tend to be on the other side. So you've got a long corner here. You've got Prouser potentially standing over here, which means you probably want your two other forwards higher in the circle because if they're going to be man-to-man -man marking with a free man in the space, then actually this is your best opportunity to get him the ball so he can turn, get the space, and he's got a little bit of time uh, to get his shot away. If, however, you're looking to win penalty corners, potentially you need another player in that space. So as he gets the ball, he might deflect the ball into feet or just receive and drop the ball behind him or anything like that. So the objective changes, therefore, how the other players um, can support him also changes. Um, and that's just something I wanted to um, touch on. We also had a couple of people talking about moving the ball to deliver into the circle. Um, so if you have the ball here, uh, there was an example of the ball going what in the three videos that I showed earlier. A ball went wide and then you had some movement in the circle and then there was a delivery and then there was a tipping goal. If you know you want to create that spec, if you know you want to play that ball, then again, you cannot put too many players on the shoulder of the circle. And it seems common sense, but it's about really making sure the players understand um, what their role is in order to set up something um, for one of the other players or for an opportunity, basically. Because if people don't explicitly understand that, then you may get players who just come and try looking for the ball in this area. And then suddenly what you're trying to set up is not possible anymore. And it becomes a little bit frustrating, frustrating for the person that's trying to get on the ball, but also frustrating for you as a coach, because you can see the opportunity that's right in front of you.